Eric from Port St. Lucie has been doing keto and intermittent fasting starting back in January and is down 45 pounds. Dude. Feeling really great on this Friday. How about that's that? That's amazing. I mean, that's three months. That's Rocco and a, a pet. Damn. That's Rocco holding a pet cat. Or a very large iguana. Yeah. Dang, wow. that's awesome. Good for you. Hi, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be back here. I know it's been a while, quite a while. There's been a lot of changes. We know that this past year has been crazy for all of us in so many ways. Crazy for me in so many ways. I'm, I'm in a completely different place this year than I was last year. But with that being said, and I'm happy to say that I am in a much better place this year than I was last year. So this is the long awaited video that people keep asking me to do. How I lost 44 pounds in less than three months. I started January 25th. It is now April 10th and I have lost 44 pounds in that was that's less than almost yeah it's a little less than three months it's about a week less than three months and I feel amazing there's no crazy secret I'm, I'm just following a keto diet and I'm doing intermittent fasting as well but people have been having a lot of questions about like what exactly that means what is intermittent fasting what is keto what does that entail is it overwhelming how hard is it honestly it's more mental than it is anything else it, you just really have to get your mind in it if your mind's not in it you're not in it and it ain't gonna work i've been trying to lose weight for years i mean years when i say years i'm like i'm 35 this year in october i'll be 35 i've been trying to lose weight since i was 21 and the only thing I've been doing is gaining, gaining, gaining. And that's not the direction I want to head in my life, especially as I'm getting older. I'm coming into 35 this year. I want to come into 35 amazing. And it's, I, I'm, I'm on track to, to make that goal this year. So I'm super excited for that. The goal of 100 pounds before my birthday, which I'm on, I'm on track to lose 100 pounds by August at the rate I'm going right now. So this video is just gonna be like kind of an overview, uh, uh, like an intro of what I'm doing, how I lost the weight, the 44 pounds so far, what I'm doing, what I'm eating. Uh, I'll show you what I had for lunch today. I'll show you what I'm having for dinner tonight, how I make it, where you can get good keto cooking ideas if you wanna go the keto route. And then, you know, some frequently asked questions, which I'll start with now. So the first question that people ask me is, how did you get started? Like, there must have been a moment where you were like, okay, like, it's time to lose the weight. Well, that moment was January 24th, 2021, where I, well, I, a couple days before, well, the moment happened that day, but a few days prior, I decided to randomly buy a scale because, you know, it was like right around the first, uh, the, the first month of the year and like everyone's doing their whole lose weight thing So I bought a scale because I never weigh myself like the last time I got weighed was last October and I weighed 263 pounds so That's when I got my new job where I work now. I had a pre-employment physical That's the only reason how I knew that I weighed that much uh, And I didn't even scoff at it. Uh, I had higher blood pressure uh, And I didn't scoff that either. Uh, it kind of scared me a little Little bit but then you know how that goes you get the news and then you're like uh, whatever you just go on to what you're doing well I got the scale in January and the scale is a one good motivator okay that's one good put a fire under your ass motivator so I got the scale it came in Amazon two-day shipping I love Amazon so I got the scale, it's Renfo, uh, it's amazing. I got it on Amazon, uh, it was like 30 something dollars. It is digital, it's Bluetooth, it goes straight to my phone. You can see right here the screenshot of my weight this morning, uh, where I'm at, and the different things that it measures. And it's so easy, I step on it every morning at 7 a.m. That's how I start my day, I wake up at 7 a.m. Even on the weekends, Sometimes I'll sleep in until like eight o'clock on the weekends and then wake myself up. But the first, the uh, the first thing I do in the morning is go to the restroom and then weigh myself on the scale. So what happened on January twenty fourth? 
I stepped on the scale and it read 282.2 pounds. And I almost lost my marbles. I literally was like, holy crap, I'm staring down the barrel of 300 pounds. That's not good. So something needs to change. So what I did was get super, super duper motivated and did so much research that day. I literally spent like eight or nine hours in front of my computer researching YouTube videos, which is how I found the two people that were, that have like the most amazing channels that I follow right now. The first one is the one that gave me the motivation to get going, to get started. Uh, he gives you really great tips on what to experience mentally, uh, which is uh, something that a lot of people don't do in their videos. So it kind of gives you like a mental and physical what to expect kind of thing. He lost himself over 80 pounds and he's just such a great motivation. His name is Jackson Desjardins and uh, I'll leave a link to his channel below. And the second person that I follow is more on the nutritional side as far as the food goes and her name is Myra and her channel is called Low Carb Love and it's amazing. I found some really amazing recipes. The one that I'm doing for dinner tonight is gonna be one of her recipes. So like, I'll leave the link to her channel and the link to the recipe that I'm making tonight which is the keto popcorn chicken. Yeah, popcorn chicken fried on keto, what? Stay tuned. You'll see how amazing that will come out. And and like, it's keto friendly. She's amazing. I love all the stuff that she makes. Keto seems so overwhelming at first. The whole first part of it is just anxiety. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna be like legit, like real with you, okay? I'm not gonna say like, oh, cause people are like, some people are like, you make it look so easy. Well, it's not. Like, I'm only showing you the good stuff. Like. That I post on Instagram, that I put, I'm gonna be putting on YouTube. But I'm gonna change that so you can see some of the nitty gritty too uh, on the YouTube. This is only first video of this whole journey, so this is gonna be fabulous as we continue this. This is the first one, you're on ground level. Welcome to the club, be sure to subscribe, please, so you know when I upload a new video and you can see my progress. It's hard, <laughs> back to that, back to being hard, it's hard. The first, the first time getting into it, it's hard, it seems overwhelming, so, I don't do meal prepping. I don't do anything that's gonna be providing an inconvenient, more of an inconvenience to my life. It's gonna be a little bit of an inconvenience, but I don't wanna make it too much of a big inconvenience because that's just who I am. I have, I do a lot of stuff. Like I work and I do a lot of stuff. So I don't want that to be a part of, because I don't want any, anything to be mental and I don't want, I don't wanna have to worry about planning or doing any of that stuff. Planning a little bit, yes, but I also live in a very small space, so I have a very small refrigerator, which is a not normal size, so I have to plan accordingly to that, so that adds an extra challenge for myself. People that can meal plan and meal prep for the whole week and eat the same thing all the time and do, do that, I applaud you, like, bless your heart, I can't do it. Uh, so this is for the people that just can't do that kind of thing. I'm just, I'll be real, I'm a realist, I just, I just can't do it. So, I do my things off the cuff. I'll find recipes on YouTube and go to the store and get some of the things, uh, and then use the leftover ingredients for another recipe that I found, or just do simple things. Like, so I do my meals like really like easy, like bacon and eggs, or steak and asparagus, or chicken and broccoli, or, fish and asparagus or you know and then then and then in between i'll make like special things like the edamame like alfredo thing that i made uh i'll make something that requires like tonight the popcorn chicken something that requires time and focus for a little while and then you get a great treat so and then i'll show you the clucking sauce that i got it's sugar free i haven't tried it yet but people are raving about it and i've tried the barbecue sauce from the same company at G Hughes and I was blown away. So I'm really hoping that the clucking sauce blows me away too. We'll find out, I'll show you. So I told you about my aha moment and before I tell you about the progression after that until I got to the point that I am now today, I'm gonna answer the question, what is keto? What is intermittent fasting? Keto is basically eating less than 20 net grams of carbs per day. Carbs, net carbs, what is that? So net carbs, if you're looking at a nutrition label, is total carbohydrates minus the dietary fiber, 
minus any sugar alcohols. Now don't get it confused with sugar because sugar is sugar and you're not supposed to be really eating sugar. Sugar alcohol though. So if you see sugar in there, you're not, you're not taking that away from the carbs. Don't even worry about, don't look at sugar. Sugar, alcohol, or if you see like erythritol, erythritol, I can't say it, but if you find it, like you'll know it when you see it, you minus that from it too. So net carbs is carbohydrates minus dietary fiber minus erythritol. <laughs> so I wanna stay under 20 net grams of carbs per day. How do I track that? Well, what I do is I use my fitness pal. A lot of people that I view trying to lose weight, I go to the gym, a lot of people into fitness know about my fitness pal. Everybody kind of uses it. Uh, you can track all your food, you can scan barcodes of things you're eating, it's so easy, and it will track net carbs for you. So that's what I use. If you can see, uh, just a couple of examples of my day and like my macros where I have my net carbs, um, where I want to be, and like it, you can kind of see like where I'm at just by looking at the, the screen capture here uh, of what my fitness pal looks like and how I track my stuff. So that's the first thing though. And the next thing is intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? Well, intermittent fasting is eating between basically a certain window of time every day. The most common one is the 16-8 intermittent fast, which is e uh, eating for an eight hour window, fasting for a 16 hour window, which is the one that I do. So what I do is I only eat between 12.30 p.m. every day and 8.30 p.m. every day. Uh, give or take like an hour. So if I like start at one, I'll go to nine and like, you know, I kind of adjust it. But I do eight and 16. So and some people do four and 20. Some people do like 12 and 12. Uh, some people do, I just, a, there's, you could do it like so many different ways, but the most common one is 16, eight. And if you can stomach that, like, and you can skip breakfast, which is nothing for me because I really was never a breakfast person anyway. I always ate breakfast, dinner, breakfast for dinner. So I never ate breakfast in the mornings. I was never hungry in the morning. So I never ate breakfast in the morning. So going on a 16, eight fast was nothing for me because then I don't eat till 1230 in the afternoon anyway. So that worked out for me, but that's how it works, just so you know. So starting from the aha moment, I started and I was off the cuff, very off the cuff. I started bringing a lunch to work every day, only keto things. I went that first day that I decided that I was going on this diet, I took everything out of my pantry, threw out or gave away anything that had more than a certain amount of carbs in it or that's not keto friendly or had too much sugar. So then I went to the store, I went to Publix and I got all good stuff and just, I just literally started. You just have to start. Like Dorothy says in The Wizard of Oz, it's always best to start at the beginning and then follow the yellow brick road, which is what I'm doing, following the yellow brick diet road. So that's what I'm doing. The first week was difficult. Um, you'll go through withdrawals from carbs. You'll go withdrawals from sh uh, sugar. And you may have, I had a headache for a straight week, week and a half. Um, what's what people call the keto flu. Uh, once you get past that though, you are golden. Once you're in ketosis and you're just, you're in it and you've been doing it for a while, just like with any new routine that you do, it just kind of becomes second nature. And when you go grocery shopping, you know, you, you kind of habitually uh, go to the good stuff now. So that's what I'm doing and it's all mental. Like you have to be on consistent. You have to be on it. Like, and if you slip up for a second, get on it. Like, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. Just keep going. This is just a change that you're doing for your life. So. It's just gonna it's just gonna be a continuous thing. Like we're all gonna mess up. We mess up in other parts of our life too. But what do we do? We keep on going. So that's what we're, that's what I'm doing. The intermittent fasting and the keto. Um, as for exercise, really, if you're following this diet consistently, like to a T, and not screwing up. Like I screwed up one time the entire diet, which is when I went to Universal Studios. Uh, because I was treating myself and that was like a mini vacation for me. So I did it because you know, like Jackson Desjardins says, uh, eat the damn cookie. Like just do it. Like it's not going to kill you. It's not the end of the world. Just enjoy it. I mean, it's not like you're doing it all the time. You're having a damn cookie. Like just fucking, just eat it. Like eat the damn cookie. Have a damn piece of pizza. Like just, it's fine. Like you're not, it's not the end of the world. So that's, that's what I did. But don't do it all the time. Like I did it one time in three months. So that's what I'm talking about. When you go to restaurants with friends, get stuff that you can eat, keto. Like I go out to dinner with my cousin and I have a burger with no bun. Try avocado for the first time on a burger, which I can have. And that was delicious. You can find different options for things. If you go, if you look in the store, they have plenty of keto options. Enlightened is a really great ice cream company that makes 
ice cream pints that makes ice cream bars. And they're made with like sugar alcohols and they only have like two grams of net carbs per bar or like 10 grams of net carbs per pint of ice cream. Like, and you're not gonna sit there and eat an entire pint, it's three servings, so you eat a third, a third, a third, you know? So it, it, it's a portion. I bought a digital food scale, food scale, which I measure my food on, my meats and stuff. Um, I was doing it really hardcore at the beginning. At the beginning, I was doing it really hardcore, but now that I've learned about like different things and what I, I you learn over time what things have in it and what things don't, and what you can eat, and what you can't eat, and I measure my stuff less and less because you were able to eyeball it more. If I'm having snacks, like I'm snacking on nuts and stuff, like I measure out the actual one serving, which is what however I measure it out on the 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 the, the food scale, the grams. So I'm being really good at measuring portion sizes. Uh, I'm doing really good at only eating tw less than 20 carbs per day, um, which has gotten to me. And I'm doing these 16, eight intermittent fasts without fail and without exception, I've been doing it. So that's why I've had so much progress. It it's funny because people share the meme of the person like that's the, you know, like throwing a tantrum and it says in the caption, when I find out that a diet only works if you actually follow it, which is true because if you don't follow a diet, it's not gonna work. Like people just think that you could just take a magic pill and just, do, you know, you have to do the work. So a day in my life, so, so get to like a day and what I do, we'll take example, we'll take, we'll take today. What I did today was I woke up around eight o'clock in the morning. What I do is I'll take um, apple cider vinegar um, and I used to do this, the liquid uh, with water, the actual apple cider vinegar. And one morning I got so sick I threw up because I didn't, I guess I didn't mix enough water with it. Two tablespoons of it. It works really great to help in uh, when you're intermittent fasting for fat, uh, fat burning, uh, to take it in the morning after your like shower or whatever, before you head out the door. Uh, so now you can find in the store apple cider vinegar pills. So I take apple cider vinegar pills now instead in the morning with some water. That's all I do in the morning. I wake up, get ready for work, take the apple cider vinegar, grab my lunch, uh, and head out the door, go to work. And work until about 12.30, and then that's when I take my lunch break. And for example, today is a Saturday, so you're gonna see an off, like I'm on, I'm, an off of work day. So I woke up at eight o'clock this morning, uh, I took a shower, ran some errands, got a haircut, I took my apple cider vinegar, and then I came, um, I stopped at Publix to get some groceries, and then I went to Pollo Tropical. So they have like grilled chicken, so I got a half a chicken. And, and the Pollo Tropical food is really good, so uh, I'll, I'll send you over to me. Here's what happened at lunch. So it is about 1.20 p.m. and usually I break my fast around 12.30. I usually do 12.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. But it's the weekend and I still try to follow that schedule on the weekend too. But you know, depending on what I'm doing, it may be off by a little bit. So right now it's 1.20. And today I decided, which I don't normally do, uh, I don't do normally like a takeaway or something. Actually I haven't done takeaway or like fast food since I went to Orlando. Uh, which was about two weeks into my journey <clears throat> three weeks into my journey that was almost a month into my journey and I'm at three months now so that's how often I have like takeaway food or something but when I do have takeaway food I pick right so I decided to go with Pollo Tropical because I went to Publix and it's right next to Publix and I said you know what I'm gonna have that for lunch today because I don't feel like cooking and it's keto literally I didn't get any sides or anything like that I literally just ordered because I love their chicken, a half dark. Uh, this they usually include, but this is a no-no. I'm not eating this. You can't add bread. Bread's not, mm -mm, sorry. Maybe I'll feed it to the birds or something, but their chicken is so yummy. Look at this. And I literally just get like a, a half chicken and a Diet Coke. And guess how many carbs are in this whole meal? Zero. And I love their, their their chicken is so delicious. And oddly enough, I'm gonna be eating chicken again for dinner, but that's only because I wanted to show you this popcorn chicken recipe, keto, that I got from Low Carb Love, and uh, I wanna make it tonight. And so since that's happening tonight, you get to see that. But anyway, I'm gonna dig into this chicken, enjoy my lunch. Uh, this is about 600 something calories, 620-ish calories. Uh, which is normally more than I eat, but like with keto, you really don't have to worry about calories. You watch calories, but you don't watch calories, if you know what I'm saying. It's really mainly about the net carbs. 
and there's zero net carbs in this. So, yes queen, I'm gonna enjoy this. See you later. So that lunch was really good. It was like 600 something calories. Uh, it was zero grams of carbs. I didn't get any sides or anything. I just got a Diet Coke, which you can have occasionally. If you want a Diet Soda, you can have a Diet Soda, like have it. Uh, there's no carbs or sugar or anything in there. Just don't make it a habit because it just makes you crave sweet, sweet stuff. So then right after lunch, just like I usually do, I put on my sneakers, I put my AirPods in, and then I headed off on my after lunch, afternoon walk. It was gorgeous today. Check it out. So every day I go for a walk. It's usually about one to 1.5 miles, one to one and a half miles. And typically I will go from work to the marina and back, which is about one and a half miles. But on the weekends, I still do it. I still go for a walk after lunch on the weekends, but I do it around my house. So I do like a one to 1.5 mile walk around. Beautiful area where I live. It's really, really gorgeous love living in Florida. This is the best place to be exercising. Uh, and I put my ear pods on and I just go, just go for it for like a good 30, 45 minutes, like just walking and enjoying the scenery and the music and just, an, it's a good like Zen moment for me at, as well, which is like mind, body and spirit. So it keeps everything in balance and in check. And it makes me feel amazing. It's part of the reason why I feel amazing. So I'm gonna enjoy my after lunch walk and I will see you later. So I'm feeling really good and that's at the point of the day I'm at today right now. So I came back and I got, I felt creative and I decided to do the video everyone's asking for and here I am doing the video for you and I'm now in the middle of it. And the next time I eat, I will have a snack at three o'clock and what I'll usually have is they make cliff bars. Uh, I bought some new cliff bars. I actually might have one of those today because I bought a, a chocolate chip cookie dough one and I really want to try that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean cliff bar, I meant Quest Bar, I got Quest Bar. Quest Bar, chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, it's like four grams of carbs. Great for like an afternoon snack. And then for dinner tonight, I'm making Low Carb Loves, Myra's Keto Popcorn Chicken. Super excited to make that. So here's how that went with the taste test too. So I'm in the kitchen right now making dinner and I'm making Low Carb Love, Myra's popcorn chicken, the keto popcorn chicken, which is fried in avocado oil and I'm super excited. So <clears throat> I got every, like the prep work pretty much done. So I've got my chicken here, uh, cut into like popcorn sized pieces. I'm using almond flour. She uses coconut flour, but I'm using almond flour with salt and pepper. I got, I got two eggs beat over here, uh, which we're gonna use. And then this is pork rinds. Now, the only pork rinds I could find in my store were queso, so they got a little bit of like cheese flavor to them, but I added garlic powder, onion powder, um, and a little bit of chipotle uh, seasoning. So hopefully these will be amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my almond flour and I'm gonna mix it in, and sprinkle it on the chicken. And then I'm just gonna use my hands to like, just coat the chicken with the almond flour, just to make sure that it's all coated. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my chicken pieces and dip them in the egg. 
and then dip them in the breading. And then put them here until they're ready to be fried. So I got some <clears throat> avocado oil and I'm going to coat the bottom of the pan. It's going to be a shallow fry, so it's going to be just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. Okay, now that it's warmed up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put these popcorn chickens in. I'm going to cook them for two to three minutes on each side. I cook mine on the side because the middle of the pan, this is a really old pan and it sticks and the oil does, only sits on the side of the pan and not the middle and I don't want to like crowd it. But I'm going to add a little bit more avocado oil so that the middle gets a little fuller. I'm cooking nice and good now. I just flipped them over. It's been about three minutes. And they look amazing already on that other side. They look nice and crispy, and I'm super excited to try these. So I'm going to cook these about another three minutes on that side, and then put them on some paper towels to drain. And then we'll be ready to eat that popcorn chicken with that clucking sauce. Oh, it's going to be so good for dinner tonight. I'm super excited for this. So here's the final product. Popcorn chicken, keto, fried and the cluckin' sauce from J. Hughes, a sugar-free, famous cluckin' dipping sauce. It tastes so amazing, I just tried it on my finger, and it's legit. And look at that. Carbs, one gram. 100 calories or two tablespoons. Not bad. Now for the taste test. Okay, now I'm ready for the taste test. I'm so excited to try this. Dip it in this cluckin' sauce. Oh my god. I'm going to try it without the sauce, but... This is legit. It literally tastes just like popcorn, like regular popcorn chicken, like fattening popcorn chicken, and it's not. Mmm. And it's crispy. Mmm. Let's look at it. Look how pretty it is. It's nice and crispy. Like, listen to this. Mmm, hear that? Oh my god. This is so good. This is from Low Carb Love. I found her on YouTube. Her name is Myra. And her link to her channel is below. I also put the link to this recipe below so that you can watch her video and make this too. She literally just came out with this recipe just a couple of days ago and I was so excited to try it. And I'm so happy that I did. And now I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner. So I'm gonna bring it back to myself from earlier. Bye. <laughs> that came out so great. So then after dinner, what I usually do a couple of nights a week, and tonight I'm going, um, is I have a membership to LA Fitness. You don't have to have a membership to a gym. I choose to have a membership to a gym because I got a good deal on it at the time. So, and I and I use it now, and it's it's helpful. And I do it a few nights a week. I'm not I like a gymaholic or nothing. I go to the gym for no more than an hour. I do elliptical and treadmill cardio. I'm eventually gonna throw in some weight training, but at the point I'm in my diet right now, and I'm about 40% complete of where I want to be to my weight goal. I'm just doing cardio for the moment just to get some of this fat off and then I'll start building whatever I want to build. I don't want to be muscly, I just want to be healthy. So I go to LA Fitness here in St. Lucie West and I do uh, the elliptical machine for about 15-20 minutes and then I do the treadmill for about another 20-25 minutes depending on how I'm feeling. And then I'll go home and then I'll choose to have a snack or not have a snack. But I don't have a snack if I don't go to the gym. And I can only eat to 8.30, so I have to have a snack before 8.30. 
And if I don't go to the gym, I don't allow myself to have the snack. And it's something keto friendly, being like an ice cream bar, or like an ice cream, or like an Adkins bar, or something like that, something sweet, something like a treat for the end of the day. But I don't allow myself, like I said, I don't allow myself to have it unless I go to the gym. So that motivates me to go to the gym. It's like, hmm, I want something sweet. I want to make a mug cake. I want, I need to go to the gym tonight because I'm gonna make that mug cake and I'm gonna eat it and I'm gonna freaking enjoy it, okay? So that's what I'm doing so far. Like how I lost 44 pounds in less than three months. Uh, keto, intermittent fasting, 16-8, and um, a, just a consistent mind, uh, positive. Like I, I, I just, everything to me is mind, body, and spirit. So I meditate, uh, I, I feel great, I go to the gym, I self care, that I'm out walking every day, I have a tan, which you probably can't really see that great because I have my lights on like crazy. So it's really not that difficult. I know that some people, it's hard to fit into your life, but it, just try it. Uh, which is what I did. I just tried it and then it worked. So I just continued and what the biggest motivation is the results So like as you can see in the picture that like you can see the results and it, For me it happened quick. It's not gonna happen as quick for everybody I don't think everybody's body's different, but it will it works and it's healthy if anything It's healthy and it makes your it makes your body feel great and you have energy I wake up bing every morning 7 a.m. No problem. I used to roll out of bed like uh, now I'm like Ready for the day, let's go. And then uh, at night I crash like crazy because you know, protein and no carbs and no sugar. So your bo what your body's doing is essentially you're running off of fat. So that's why keto is like a high fat diet. So your, your body's running off the fat. And that's what my body's doing now, running off the fat, burning off the fat that I have stored already, which is why my body is like going loop. So I'm so excited for that, but this is not gonna be the only video that I do. This is the very first one. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my journey. I'm super excited to have you here. Please subscribe, uh, please share my video, have other people subscribe. I wanna inspire people and if I can help other people lose weight, that's great. That's why I'm doing this video because people are asking me how I'm doing it and they had so many questions. So I wanna address them, I wanna help you. I want to motivate you, I wanna inspire you and I really hope that I am inspiring you and I can help in any way, like I'm here for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Like my socials are here, everything. Like we're all in this together. If we can make everyone healthy and you know, everyone feel great and happy and positive, then that's that's a great thing. It will make the world a better place. That's what I think anyway. So like I said, look out for the next video. I'm gonna be sharing some of the different things that I've been cooking, um, different like recipes that I do, some of the challenges that I have and upcoming videos. I'm gonna make this like a series. Uh, I didn't want to start the series until I was deep into to it, so I knew that I was in it to win it, and I was making progress, and it was being successful, so I'm super excited to say that that's happening because this video is happening, and I didn't actually see myself making this video because I failed so many times in my life over the last like 15 years, 20 years, trying to lose weight, and now it's finally working, and now I'm super excited for it, so. We'll see you in the next video. As always, as Jerry Springer says, take care of yourself and each other. Peace and love, bye.